some D&D miniatures. So we went to a group called Mighty Lancer Games. Uh, they're a UK based company in which they sell a load of tabletop um, miniatures including Warhammer, Blood Bowl, um, Necromunda and also Dungeons and Dragons. And they've um, started doing this uh, Reapers Miniatures box subscription box thing um, in which you get a load of miniatures for your tabletop games. Um, I assume most of them will be D&D miniatures but um, yeah, this one's October month, so we shall what? see what is in it. What's the price? The price of the box is 20 quid uh, per month. Yeah, 20 quid per month. And I believe you get 25 quid's worth of items. Is it? Is this uh, the oh, one no. based in Bridlington? This is one based in Bridlington, yes. Ah, tissue paper. Uh, we're going to put this to the side and do it one at a time. Oh, they're well cute. They're little goblins, but they're obviously quite feisty and they're not supposed to be cute. <laughs> but I find them quite cute. Oh. This one's called Pathfinder Goblin Warriors, is what they're called, for the Reaper miniatures. So, one. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, there's a lady one. Lady? Um, and the other two are just Bellas. <laughs> Just your fellow gob goblin men. But they're well cute. Those I are cool. I like building a goblin army. Then, right next one, I have a a uh, dragonborn warrior. It says on there. Uh, that looks a bit similar to one that you've bought in the past. It's it a, it, it has of, a um, focus. It's got it has, a bit of a floppy so sword. It, it's got a floppy sword. It looks like a scimitar. Um, it's got an you know the traditional. Uh, Dragonborn face that it has on, and it has a shield. So that I imagine shield's pretty cool. The shield does look quite cool, actually. I'd imagine this being either a fighter or a paladin in your D&D game. But no, that's quite nice. I was trying to find the title. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a very skinny, um, devilly kind of um, it can, entity. It, it, it sort of has a little... a little lily. It sort of has a little willy. Yeah. Okay. Why are you just focusing on the willy? Because <laughs> it's always funny when models have. So again, quite bendy and doesn't come with a, a round black base. But it is quite good. Yeah, all the black bases that you can buy separately from the store itself. So. Oh, look at his tail. It's like a, it's like a spine. It turns Spine into tail. a tail. Yeah. That's so cool. That's cool. I can imagine that being like a, just like a little enemy NPC. Yeah, a little cheeky boy. We have a, it's called a hill giant uh, lowland chief. Uh, and it comes in like little bits that you just glue together. Got a bit more attached. So if I just... Oh. You can't really hold it without... It all falling apart because obviously you need to glue it. That's the head. Is it very bit... very grumpy uh, head. You got. It looks a bit like um. Oh, what's he called now? From Game of Thrones, the first the first king. That was uh, Baratheon, Robert Baratheon. <laughs> Robert Baratheon. Yeah. Does a bit. Yeah. He's got that sort of fat face. You've got like, I've just attached the rest of the body. So you've got um, is it stumpy little feet, you've got like fur. fur cloth and then you've got him holding a tree trunk. <laughs> Full on tree trunk. Full on tree trunk. That's quite nice that. Um, yeah, I do like that. A... That would come in quite useful for on the road sort of encounters. Yeah. Human Ranger Michelle. Human Ranger. Called Ooh. Michelle. <laughs> Hello Michelle, how are you today? I like an emo fringe. That looks like a sort of assassin, roguey kind of player I'd imagine. I do admire that they do um, do the detail quite well in a lot of these. Yeah, they, they have very good detail, these miniatures. Get to So, there she is. 
That was very cool, what miniature that. Cool little cape. Some I think they're supposed to be swords, not daggers, otherwise. Yeah, those short. are like short swords. Has she got a Oh no, I thought she had one on the back of it, it's just the pattern of a cloak. No, that's cool. Nice. She's got a hair and a ponytail as well. Marielle Twin Spa female pirate. Ooh. Oh. You got a new female She's pirate. She's got a sassy sassy hand on hip. It's a it's sassy. Yes, I'm a pirate. What of it? Ooh. You'll like this one, Beth, you know why? Has she got very prominent boobs? Yes, she has very prominent boobs. It's funny that all the time the boobs are always the most prominent part <laughs> <laughs> on a female figure. Oh, that's nice. Um, it's got a sword in the back. Well, she's holding the sword to her back. Yeah, I like that one. That one's good. So there's some trick or treat Halloween Haribo. Oh, that's nice. Which is nice. Well, yeah, this one would have been for October, so. Ooh, it's scenery. Scenery? Yeah, it's a sarcophagus. Oh, that's nice. It's got the detail of the pillow and everything. I love them out. So, um, I'll show you the top first. What is on it? Oh, it's so skeletons and skulls. And roses, that's nice. Quite a feminine coffin, I think. I think this would be feminine like coffin. the Stroud's um, wife. Wife. Yeah. Um, and then, did, oh, that's there's quite really detail. nice detail. It, you can tell that it's... Um, I've just noticed the front as well. And and the front. And the sides, but yeah. Sides. That's pretty cool, that. Is it see? It doesn't say who it's for. No, it's just gotten some like ancient writing on the side. Yeah. Wow. It's Good definitely start. value for money for all that it gets. So how many miniatures do we got? We've got one, two, three, four, four five, six. Five, six. No, we've got six seven. miniatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six miniatures and one piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> of, um, scenery. To be. And, and a bag of sweets. <laughs> and a bag of sweets. Nice. So, um, do you think this is worth it? I do think it's worth it because we do play D and D. Quite a bit. And it's always nice to have a vast majority of models to use instead yeah. of always using orcs or skeletons. Yeah. So if you want to uh, add to your collection. It's probably worth getting this Reaper's miniature box yep. that Mighty Lancer do. So I'll put a link to their website below in the description box. And um, we shall see what they bring out next month. Yeah, hopefully it's more good quality stuff like this. I'm sure it will be. Yeah.